Everyone who's purchased cutlery for purposes other than their own home kitchen drawer owns a spork. Why? The lure of convenience, promises of minimalism, and the less is more mentality. It's built for the hiker who has lost a piece of their one too many piece cook set and are striving to pare down, or the ultralight backpacker where every ounce counts. Space saving outdoor specialists are drawn to sporks like moths to a lantern, and I'm one of them. So today, we're not here to talk about sporks. Instead, I'm going to introduce you to the best and last everyday carry, camp office, bushcraft backpacking, you name it, cutlery you'll ever need to purchase. Let's get into it. Just like you, when I first started my hunt for the best cutlery for my camp and bushcraft adventures, I landed on something like this. The Human Gear Go Bites Uno Spork has a spoon on one side and fork on the other. What's not to love? After a few uses, you quickly learn that if you're eating a complex meal that requires the use of both ends of the spork, you're always holding a dirty side or your dirty camp hand is mussing up one side of your utensil, which will soon be entering your mouth. After you come to that conclusion, you decide to give something like this beauty a try. This is the Snow Peak Titanium Spork. Though this is oh so close to godliness, it falls short like a two-in-one shampoo. It's sort of okay at a couple of things versus really excelling at one thing. What I like about this spork is the weight, the feel in the hand, and to be honest, the look. I mean, come on people, this thing is a spork of art. But like I said, it falls short in certain areas because it's trying to be good in all areas. When you go to shovel a spoonful of soup into your mouth, the fork edge drains out the spoon's full potential. And when you try to jab at a potato or pasta noodle, the fork edge is blunted by the spoon and you can never get a good handle on the food you're trying to wrangle. It being made of titanium also keeps you from using it to stir or cook on nonstick coated camp cookware. So you continue the hunt and you start to think, well, the hardened plastic of the original spoon-fork combo wasn't too shabby when it comes to using it on that nonstick cookware, and boom, you've just found the next answer to your prayers. The Human Gear Go Bites Duo Fork and Spoon Set. It's got a spoon, it's got a fork. Now, you're a bit nervous that there's two items here. The potential to lose one piece of that puzzle concerns you, but no way, they nest together, and even better, they can nest the long way, and they become a stirring ladle when you're making something in one of your deeper pots. I'll be honest here, folks, I actually really dig this one. I would have stopped my search there, but I'm a sucker for quality, sustainability, and gear that I can truly say I'll use for the rest of my life. Though this fork and spoon set look like they're not going anywhere anytime soon, I prefer metal, and the Snow Peak Spork, even with its innate spork downsides, had a level of quality that I couldn't seem to get off my mind. So, I'm super stoked to introduce you to what I've found to be the best and last EDC camp cutlery you'll ever need to purchase. Before we get into it, if you're enjoying this video, please take a second to hit the like button down below and subscribe to the channel for more content like this one. It really helps me and the channel out. Cool, let's jump back in. This is the Snow Peak Titanium Fork and Spoon Set, and I believe this is the very best piece of cutlery for personal use you can bring into the great outdoors. It comes in a woven Velcro pouch that depending on where you purchase from, it will come in a variety of colors. Inside, we have the fork nested into the spoon, and they truly do fit together perfectly. Both have the Snow Peak logo, and on the back, you'll see that they're made with titanium and in Japan. If we think back to the duo fork and spoon set, I sort of became okay with having two different utensils versus it being all built into one. The fact that they nest together and have their own pouch makes me feel better about the potential for losing a piece of the set. And if a person really wanted to, you could attach a carabiner or a clip to the end uh, to string them together. Let's talk about fork sizes for a second. I've been on what seems like a lifelong hunt to find the fork that isn't the size of a shovel. I don't know what it is, but American forks are huge. The handles are huge, the surface areas of the heads are huge, the pointy bits are blunt and are basically forklifts. For at home, I've shifted to slightly larger salad forks in the kitchen drawer as a response. The Snow Peak Titanium Fork, on the other hand, is spot on. It's light, the flat surface of the handle is perfect to rest and put tension on individual fingers no matter how you hold it. The surface area of the head is not too big and not too small, and the prongs are less blunt than your average fork, but not so sharp that you risk hurting yourself when you shovel something in. Now, I reserve the word perfect for pretty few pieces of gear, but the Snow Peak Spoon is one of those pieces of gear that earns that description. 
It's deep like a ladle and can hold a good amount of soup, couscous or chili, but not so large that you feel a little out of your depth with the bite size you just took on. What just rocks my world is that the curvature fits my camp bowls like a glove, letting me get every last bit of food out of the bowl. And it's easier to clean up and waste not want not. It's long enough to scrape the bottom of a camp mug if that's your cup of tea for food serving vessels as well. I've come to love this set so dang much that I got a second one that I carry with me to my day job because I'm a sack lunch kid through and through and this set is just too perfect to not use every day. The other sporks I got along the way to finding this perfect set will still get their uses. I've partnered the Human Gear Sporks with my GSI Outdoor Pinnacle Camper Cook Set for when I'm camping with a group because they're colorful and they match the color-coded plates and bowls, and I love that. And the Snow Peak Spork will come along when I go on day hikes with my partner or friends. For everything else, I will be bringing the Snow Peak Fork and Spoon Set. The only downside on this set is the cost. It was hard to take that leap when I first discovered the Snow Peak Spoon and Fork set because paying $26.95 for two pieces of cutlery was just hard to justify in my mind, and that's why I tried to find a more cost-effective route with the various human gear sporks, but they just didn't make the cut. At the end of the day, thinking about $27 and what you can do with that amount of money, and for an object that made its way into my everyday carry items, including my hiking gear, I'm happy to say money well spent, and I think it would be for you too. You can check it out in the links down below and let me know what you think of it if you decide to take the leap. That's all folks. Thanks for joining me today.